scheduling of uh, services is our next topic and uh, it is uh, services industry is uh, a little different from the manufacturing industry in uh, manufacturing industry we will have machines and uh, jobs given by the customers and these jobs will be uh, scheduled as per a particular sequence into that machine and it will be processed in an order and uh, the number of machines availability the jobs which are going to be given by the customers we have some sort of uh, knowledge in that but in services industry it is not like that first we'll uh, sir first the examples for services industry uh, like uh, transportation and uh, in transportation we have airlines railways bus uh, entertainment like cinema theaters uh, theme parks uh, hotels and restaurants hospitals banks and uh, uh, other services industry the main difference between uh, uh, manufacturing industry and the services industry is uh, the scheduling is uh, complicated in uh, services industry because of uh, the demand factor. We cannot actually analyze or we cannot uh, forecast the demand for services. The type of service, the quantity of the service and the timing of the service uh, uh, provider is we, we cannot actually uh, forecast. Maybe one time uh, take for example in a restaurant. Uh, a customer uh, uh, in a day he will go and uh, he will eat uh, uh, fried rice or parotta uh, something like that and the next day he, he may have a different uh, choice so maybe uh, dosa or some other thing so the type of uh, service varies with customers and varies with time and we cannot predict uh, that particular uh, type of service and the quantity also it's uh, you know a uh, little difficult to forecast because one time maybe one customer may eat uh, two or three dosa and in the next time he'll uh, limit it to one dosa and uh, he may try some other uh, 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 some other dish so the quantity uh, of that particular service is also a question mark the demand for the quantity is also a question mark and the timing for the services required uh, is also you know we cannot predict uh, maybe uh, early in the evening or uh, late at night uh, the restaurants need to be open but customers the fall of uh, footfalls of customers will differ based on the timing so it is uh, you know we cannot exactly forecast the service demand and in addition in manufacturing setup we can uh, have inventories and whenever customers uh, new customers give order we can uh, take uh, the raw materials from the inventory and use it for manufacturing. But here in restaurants or in hospitals, in other services, it may not be possible because we cannot carry inventory. That is, uh, the, that possibility of carrying inventory is ruled out. And uh, uh, this uh, service uh, scheduling includes uh, scheduling the services demanded and scheduling the workforce. And um, uh, we'll uh, check each and every the, these two scheduling the uh, services demand first and scheduling the workforce the next few slides scheduling the services demanded so we can we can assess the demand of the services by uh, uh, these uh, three things like uh, setting appointments uh, making uh, facility for reservations or the other way is back ordering or delaying uh, take for example when you are going uh, to a doctor we will have we will set previously uh, appointment with the doctor and then uh, we will go so the doctor will be knowing how many appointments is there uh, in that particular day and uh, by that we, they, he can understand the demand for the service and uh, again a reservation is another possibility where we can uh, understand or forecast the uh, demand for the service, a reservation of uh, tickets, reservation in uh, um, hotels or um, restaurants. So all these are some of the ways by, by which we can understand the demand for the services. And the other one is back ordering. Back ordering is uh, we don't have the raw materials or production facility at that particular moment. We ask the customer to come the next day or at, after some time so that uh, this um, service requirement can be fulfilled 
but uh, uh, the customer may or may not turn up for the uh, service again to the uh, particular place but this is another way of uh, uh, identifying the service demand and uh, scheduling of workforce uh, we have one technique called the cyclical scheduling we are going to discuss the cyclical scheduling using a problem and uh, the problem goes like this Apollo hospitals uh, services industry wants to staff a ward using a standard five day work week with two consecutive days off the doctors will be given two uh, consecutive days off the hospital also wants to minimize the staff However, the hospital faces inconsistent demand. Weekends tend to have low demand and doctors tend to work early in the week and patients peak on Wednesdays and then taper off. And the requirement, employee requirement for the different uh, days in a week is given in the problem. Monday 5 uh, doctors, Tuesday 5 doctors, Wednesday 6, Thursday 5, Friday 4, Saturday 3 and Sunday 3. So this is the data given and uh, there are some criteria by which we have to allot the doctors over the different uh, days. And what are the criteria? First is a standard 5 day work week with 2 consecutive days off. So the doctors will be given 2 consecutive days off and uh, the hospital tries to minimize the staff and we can tend to have low demand. So we can always try to give off uh, on Saturday and Sunday to the doctors. So that will be our first uh, uh, criteria. And uh, the other one is we need to analyze how many uh, doctors are needed and we need to minimize the number of doctors needed in the hospital. So for the, fir the first uh, uh, doctor, we can ask the first doctor to work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and since Saturday and Sunday have a demand of only three, we can ask the uh, doctor one, employee one to take off on Saturday and Sunday. So the demand Monday 5, Tuesday 5, Wednesday 6, Thursday 5 and Friday 5 will be met with by, uh, by doctor one and uh, Saturday and Sunday doctor one will be off. And uh, so when the first doctor is getting uh, Saturday and Sunday off, the demand will be the same. The demand, the demand on Saturday and, day and Sunday will not change and it will be the same because the doctor is not working on Saturday and Sunday. Whereas on all other days, he, the first doctor is working, so the demand for the next uh, employee comes down. So here Monday, now uh, demand is 4, Tuesday 4, Wednesday 5, Thursday 4 and Friday 3. And again here, uh, when we look at the demand over the week, Saturday and Sunday has got uh, minimum demand. So we can ask the second employee, the second doctor to take off on Saturday and Sunday. So consecutively we are giving two days off on for the third doctor, uh, the demand comes down for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but the demand is the same for Saturday and Sunday. The same demand 3 and 3 is carried out, the carried over because the first two doctors are taking off on Saturday and Sunday, whereas the other days demand comes down. Now, uh, we have to allocate uh, the off days based on demand. We cannot uh, uh, allocate uh, off days for uh, employee 3 or doctor 3 on Saturday and Sunday because there is one day where the demand is very very less. So the first preference give is given to the uh, day where uh, the demand is less. So in this case Friday is the day where the demand is less. So we try to give off for the third doctor on Friday and since it is consecutive days we can give uh, the doctor 3 off on Saturday also. And uh, for, for the doctor 4, here the demand reduces from 3 to 2, 3 to 2, 4 to 3, 3 to 2 
and since previously uh, doctor 3 is not working on friday the demand is carried over here and saturday also the demand is carried over here whereas sunday uh, the doctor 3 was working so now the demand has reduced now looking at uh, looking at the uh, demand pattern over this particular week for this doctor 4 employee 4 we can have uh, this monday tuesday off for uh, doctor 4 or thursday friday off for the doctor 4 any anything we can give uh, here i have take chosen uh, thursday and friday off and uh, the next doctor's demand will be uh, monday 1 tuesday 1 wednesday 2 thursday 2 friday 2 and saturday again 3 from 3 it has reduced to 2 and sunday 2 it has reduced to 1 now for this particular doctor the employee 5 we can give uh, two consecutive days we can give it on sunday and monday sunday this sunday and this monday but actually uh, standard in the problem it is given standard five day work week with two consecutive days off so in this case this is not consecutive days off this is monday of this week and sunday of the week the same week so uh, two distant days so we cannot uh, follow this particular pattern so what we can do is here we have tuesday also off so rather than giving monday and sunday off for employee 5 we can have monday and tuesday off so monday and tuesday we are going to give off for employee 5 or the doctor 5 and all other days he'll be working from wednesday to sunday he'll be working. and uh, at the end of uh, the next uh, uh, day the employee 6 or doctor 6 will have a demand of monday 1 one 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 and only on sunday there is no demand so checking uh, the nearest day uh, saturday also has got only one requirement so we can ask this employee six to take off on saturday and sunday so when we ask uh, doctor six to work on saturday and sunday uh, sorry uh, take off on saturday and sunday and work on all other days for the uh, uh, next doctor is like this uh, over the weeks monday to friday there is no demand only on saturday we are going to have uh, one uh, doctor's requirement and uh, this for this particular only one day we are not going to recruit a particular doctor since the idea of the hospital is to minimize the uh, staff we are going to ask one of the doctors who are going to take off on saturday and sunday to work on this particular saturday and uh, he will be compensated in the next cycle. So this is uh, personal scheduling or scheduling of the workforce with uh, equal days off and equal days work for the different employees.